build up a nuclear energy release, the fissionable material must be of a certain size, shape, or density. Then one of the neutrons escaping from a split atomic nucleus will, in turn, split another, and a chain reaction is set up. The mass is now releasing nuclear energy, but not quickly enough to cause a nuclear explosion. This condition is called critical. If the mass is now suddenly increased, so that more neutrons are trapped each time an atomic nucleus is split, a multiplying chain reaction is maintained. Now the mass is supercritical, causing a nuclear explosion. Density of the fissionable material can be as important as mass in building up a nuclear explosion. The same sphere can be compressed so that the atoms are closer together and neutrons split more atomic nuclei, making the smaller mass critical. If compressed still more, a multiplying chain reaction sets in, causing the mass to become supercritical in a nuclear explosion. Nuclear weapons make use of both of these principles. A gun-type device can increase the mass of fissionable material to a supercritical state instantaneously. One subcritical mass is propelled forcibly into another by an ordinary powder charge. The increased mass becomes supercritical. A multiplying chain reaction builds up until the nuclear explosion. Obviously, if any mechanical device keeps these two subcritical masses apart, the weapon is nuclear safe. Applications of this fact prevent accidental nuclear explosions in gun-type weapons. Another kind of nuclear weapon is the implosion type. It compresses the fissionable material to greater density to make it supercritical. To do this, the sphere is enclosed by a shell of ordinary explosive designed to direct its explosive force inward. This effect is called implosion. The detonators attached to the explosive are connected to a complex firing device, which can fire every detonator simultaneously. When all the explosive is detonated simultaneously, the nuclear material is compressed into a supercritical mass, which results in a nuclear explosion. Implosion-type weapons are nuclear-safe because only the specially designed firing device can produce the simultaneous detonation of all the ordinary explosive, a deliberate effect possible only by the precise firing mechanism. Should a single detonator be fired accidentally, whether by malfunction, crash impact, or fire, the explosive would not provide the all-around compression necessary for implosion. Instead, it might push the nuclear material out of the shell, break it into small pieces, or even burn it. This unfissioned material emits only alpha particles because no nuclear explosion has taken place.